Picture this. The year is 1980. The smell of popcorn fills the air. And the sound of Pac-Man gobbling up pellets and outrunning ghosts is echoing through an arcade filled with vibrant neon lights. This is a time when gaming was a tactile, sensory experience, far removed from the isolated, digital interactions of today. The charm of the 80s arcade games was in their simplicity. Games like Pac-Man, Space Invaders and Donkey Kong didn't need complex narratives or intricate controls. They were straightforward, yet addictive, challenging the player's reflexes and strategic thinking. But the games weren't just about the gameplay. They were about the camaraderie, the shared excitement, the friendly rivalries. The arcade was a communal space where friends gathered, cheered each other on, and competed for the highest score. These were the days when high scores were the ultimate bragging rights, and the arcade was the place to be. Fast forward to today, where gaming has evolved into a multi-billion dollar industry, with games that boast high-definition graphics, complex storylines, and online multiplayer capabilities. Today's gaming landscape is dominated by immersive, visually stunning worlds that take us to the far reaches of our imagination. We've seen the rise of online gaming, where players from around the globe can compete against each other in real time. This era has given birth to esports, turning casual gaming into a professional sport with lucrative prize pools. Franchises like Fortnite, Call of Duty and Minecraft have become household names captivating millions with their intricate gameplay and captivating narratives. Yet, despite their sophistication, modern games often promote solitary play with gamers engrossed in their own screens, disconnected from the world around them. While modern games offer incredible experiences, they lack the simplicity and communal spirit that made 80s arcade games so special. But let's dive deeper and see why the 80s arcade games continue to hold their own against their modern counterparts. First, let's talk about accessibility. Classic arcade games are beautifully simple and straightforward. You don't need to spend hours learning intricate controls or complex mechanics. A few buttons, a joystick, and you're good to go. This simplicity meant that anyone, regardless of their gaming experience, could step up to an arcade machine and start having fun. On the other hand, modern games often come with a steep learning curve. They demand time and dedication, which can be a barrier for casual gamers or newcomers. Then there's the social aspect. In the ATS, arcades were social hubs. They were places where people gathered, competed and connected. These games fostered real-world interaction, a sense of community. Modern games, while offering online multiplayer options, often lack this face-to-face -face socializing. The camaraderie of playing side-by-side -side with a friend, the thrill of a crowd watching a high-stakes game, these experiences are unique to the arcade era. Now, Let's not forget the timeless charm of 80s arcade games. There's something undeniably appealing about the pixelated graphics, the catchy chiptune soundtracks, the high score chasing. These elements have a nostalgic allure that transcends generations. They remind us of a simpler time, a time when games were about pure, undiluted fun. Modern games with their hyper-realistic graphics and cinematic narratives, while impressive, can sometimes feel overwhelming and less focused on the basic joy of gameplay. Lastly, the 80s arcade games were pioneers, laying the foundation for many genres and mechanics we see in games today. They pushed the boundaries of what was possible in video gaming, and their influence is still felt in the industry. While modern games have their merits, they can't quite capture the magic of the good old arcade days. It's clear that the 80s arcade games have a timeless appeal that modern games struggle to replicate. These arcade gems were built on the foundations of simplicity, making them approachable and easy to understand. Yet, they were challenging enough to keep you hooked, fostering a sense of accomplishment upon beating a high score. The communal spirit of 80s arcades was another key aspect. They were places of gathering, where friendships were forged over a shared love for gaming. This sense of community is something that can be hard to find in today's online-dominated gaming world. The nostalgia these games evoke is another part of their enduring charm. They remind us of a simpler time when gaming was about pure fun rather than high-definition graphics or complex storylines. So the next time you dive into a modern game, remember the roots of gaming and the magic of the 80s arcades. After all, old is gold, and those neon-lit arcades were pure golden days of gaming. 